Or the earliest in the hour. Okay. Yeah. We are going to be summoning you regarding your breach of this. Okay. Right. right. So I'm going to call to you. You don't have to say anything. It may on your defence. If you do not mention, when questioned, something that you later rely on in court. Okay. okay. And anything you do say may be used. Understand that? Yeah. So now I'm going to give you that I notified the mayor. I'm making a criminal complaint now against the mayor of conspiracy to pervert the course yep, of justice. Yeah, that's all right. right. So you're making a note of this. Yeah. My reply you? is, I notified the mayor on the 17th of August. I'm gone, I'm gone. I've got to write it down. I don't record it, okay? I've got to write it down. Right. They're recording. Okay, they may be. Hello, you know we are. Hello, just a quick one. Read the call that you got from ambulance regarding a female belief drug bar rumba. Here we go. May I have your date of birth, please, sir? 10th of the 2nd of 1962. And do you have a contact number at all? Yeah, it's on my phone. Well, you've got my number, haven't you? Um, 075. I think it's 075. I have to get my phone out and look at the account memory. I see more bar numbers. You just bear with me one moment. Right. On my bail form, they've agreed that my address is Parliament Square. Yes, I've seen that. Given that my address is Parliament Square, how can you prosecute someone whose address is Parliament Square, for goodness sake? It's convenient Parliament Square. Yeah. Right. Here's a novel one. Yeah. yeah. Would you like to read it from, from there, because I don't have my glasses on? 075 Is that also you you want to just say, is it? Oh. Yeah, yeah it's that? fine. That's fine. Okay. Yeah, you can read that. Okay, thank you. So when did you send your letter? I notified the mayor by email on the 17th of August. Of my reasonable excuse. Which were? He had 14 days under which to respond under the pre-action protocol. Okay. He failed to respond, so I have a reasonable expectation that he accepted my reasonable excuse. Did he excuse. fail to respond within the 14 days? Yes, yeah. And you did say you mentioned you did get a response of some kind. I'm getting to that. I okay. therefore had a reasonable expectation that my reasonable excuse was accepted. Okay, what did you put as your reasonable excuse being? It's all there. You can check my email. You can get a copy from the Mayor's office. Yeah. Yeah, well, I've got to put something down in the report I do, haven't I? Well, I I'm going to be doing the report now at 4 4.30 in the morning. I put my reasonable excuse in there, precisely so I don't have to do it at 4.30 in the morning. I put it in the email. But you're just making a complaint of it now for me to take a crime report. So I've given you the contact yeah. details of the Mayor of London. I've given you the details of my email that's sent on the 17th of August, <laughs> which is on our website too. <laughs> so you can go and check it. It's all there. But I'm not What's getting it website? out. www. Yep. Dot Brian Hall dot TV. After the 13th of November, after the 13th of September, yeah. when I was unlawfully arrested, yeah. Mr. Harris from the Mayor's office yeah. attempted to conceal the date of when my email was sent. How do you know that? Because he sent an email to me where he'd taken off the date of when my email had been sent and he tried to give the impression that my email had not been sent until after the 13th of September and that he was just responding then, refusing my reasonable excuse, after the 14 days. Are they not... Um, it's a conspiracy to revert the course of justice. To try to cover up. Are they not um, time and date stamped when they're sent emails? 
Well, all he was trying to yeah. do was, yeah, it is. All he was trying to do was, he was trying to cover up that I had sent it on this date, that they had failed to respond, to then pretend I didn't send it till after the 13th of September. Can you supply copies of all those? Yeah, the times I can. and dates that were sent? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Because it's all like on your computers. Sorry? Because it's all on your computers. Yeah, but it's, if it's on your website, it might be timed and date different than it is on okay. your computer. And also, I notified MOPAC, who is the Mayor's Office of Policing and blah blah, because they said, I don't know, for some reason, then my stuff went to them, and they tried to fob it off. And I said, well, actually, as so long as you know that Mr. Harris is trying to cover up the truth. So that's, so what they're saying is, is their, the email went to the Mayor's Office for Policing? No, no, no. What, no, no. What they were trying to do was pass the buck and get someone to cover up. Once Mr. Harris was discovered lying, then they tried to get another office at the Mayor's to try and cover up. And it didn't work, because I have the emails from all of them. And that. So I went back and said, because if you told, if the mayor had responded within 14 days and said no to me then, then I could have gone to the High Court, judicially reviewed his decision. But because he didn't respond, I had a reasonable expectation that everything was hunky-dory. Because, you know, that's why you have a pre-action protocol of 14 days. I did everything right, then the mayor tried to cover up. So okay, making, so basically the thing is, the mayor's cover-up is what you're saying. Is it's conspiracy to avert the course of justice. Yeah, he covered up that I properly notified. Then his Mr Harris in his Happy office day. tried to delete the date on my emails right. to try and make out that I didn't do it till after the 13th, so he was still within 14 days. Okay. So okay. that's a conspiracy to avert the course of justice. I shouldn't be harassed anymore. OK. All right. Well, I've told you, you're going to be summoned for not getting off the square today. And then, when you've got the little piece of paper from the judge, which you're not going to get, because you know why I'm going to the High Court on Friday, on Thursday? I don't know you're going to the High Court. Well, actually, I put, okay, well, I put in an application to the High Court, because I've already got a civil claim about being harassed about this, and I've got a civil claim against your boss, the Commissioner, because right. he failed to respond about why he wouldn't accept my reasonable excuse. So I put in an injunction, so I could stop you guys hassling me. Because right. it's not right. But that's not until Thursday, is it? Because there is no court order that says what we're doing is wrong. You need a court order. I need to lose in court first before you touch me. You were lost in court with the mayor, didn't you? Sorry? Yeah. They, they, everybody lost. He won, the, he won the, the, the right to have this as a square, didn't he? The mayor did. As a public space where there's no... We're not trespassing, though. There's no trespass. There's no obstruction. There's no public disorder. The same as you're not going to sleep. sleep Without That's reasonable excuse. Yeah. And what I'm saying is, you wouldn't be given additional powers beyond trespass, beyond an obstruction, beyond the public disorder. That. It just says no sleeping equipment. That's Without reasonable excuse. And what I'm trying to explain to you is, you would not be given additional powers to say, well, we could say that's not a reasonable excuse where there was no public disorder, because it that would be say, wrong. It doesn't mention in the Section 8 part anything to do with public disorder, trespass or anything like that. It just says no sleeping. But you know, under European law, you cannot interfere beyond where there's public disorder. It doesn't say that in the Act. That's why there's section. reasonable excuse. Because otherwise that and Act could not be read down not to be... Though, is it? Okay. The Do you understand that the law could not be made to be compatible with the Human Rights Act unless it could be read down You have that to part. say your reasonable excuse is not the fact that you're no sleeping here because you're back or it's I didn't. your choice. I didn't. You yes, see you what I wrote to the Mayor? No, you see what I wrote to the Mayor? That's what you told me though. What I said to the Mayor on the 17th of August, that's what's going to be relevant in court. But that's not what you said about sleeping here. Because okay? I'm sick you of going said through you're it. Sleeping here I'm sick of, of going back. through it. I'm sick of going through but it. But it doesn't say in the Act and Section anything to do with public order or trespass or anything like that. Okay. Well, go and get your lawyer and they'll say you can't interfere where there is nothing that's like a criminal offence. Oh, well, just discuss it in court now. Well, you can yeah. discuss it, well, you'll yeah. discuss it in court anyway. It's, okay, it's, it's, it's yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right. I'll just Thank you. Are you not summoning me? Aren't you summoning him too? He's my co-conspirator. They said it was nothing to do with it. <laughs> Will we not both take the dice on Roy's On this blanket? <laughs> Just a minute ago, you didn't want anything. You told us when we turned up. Oh, because if you don't have anything to do thing, with it, you don't get something. Your first thing uh, to brilliant. me, when you, I turned up, was I wasn't sleeping on the square. That's what your exact words were. Well, he's yeah, not I sleeping, is he? I wasn't sleeping when he turned up, was I? Exactly your words, that was. Oh, dear. <laughs>